everyone, my name is Ernie Davis, but you can call me Professor. And for today's roots, I'm going to teach you about Dr. J. Hinton and Ta Nehesi Coates. Who are we? We love museums and learning about Black history and also love sharing what we learn with others. Everyone deserves to know their history and parents. We will build confidence in your children and inspire them to read stories about real life heroes and sheroes. Let's hope everyone have fun. Listen to the speaker, email us when you have a question and explore the book for today. But most importantly, have fun. And finally, share what we learn with others. But before we go to Jane Hinton, I would like to show you my assistant. My dog, Cleopatra. She's going to be my assistant for Dr. Jane Hinton. Get out, Cleopatra. Get out. Who was Jane? She was born on May 1st in 1919, and her father, William Hinton, was the first African-American professor at Harvard. He too was a scientist. Jane's mother, Ada Haas, was a social worker and a school teacher. Jane had one sister, Anne Hinton. Jane was very bright and followed in her father's footsteps. Jane's father started a medical laboratory that was open to women, which was often not allowed. Jane's father was a pathologist, someone who studies bacteria in a lab. How did Jane reach her goals? Jane graduated from Simon's College at the young age of 20. After studying at Harvard's lab, Jane moved to conducting lab work in Arizona. She then decided to enter veterinarian school at the University of Pennsylvania, gaining her Doctor of Veterinary, veterinary Medicine in 1949. This was so amazing that at that time, only four African Americans ever graduated from college. After gaining her degree, Jane practiced as a small animal veterinarian in Canton, Massachusetts. She then went on to be a federal inspector. A veterinarian cares for the health of animals like Cleo to work on public health. How was Jane successful? She worked in a harmless lab her father opened. At the time, Jane co-developed the Mueller Hinton agar with John Howard Mueller. This agar was a medium developed to isolate the bacteria that caused several diseases. It became the gold standard in the international labs for antibiotic testing, testing a certain diseases, maybe like corona. Jane loved animals and her garden. Let's see these two veterinarians in action for our thing. Vets, they don't have it easy. All the other chickens, they don't like them. But these Georgia docs have each other's backs. I'm gonna need you to stand by for this one, bro. I right, got you. They share the load. Let me help you out, boss. <laughs> they share the love. Oh, you're a miracle baby right now. Oh, thank you. And cheer each other on like best friends do. Go, Dr. Hodges. Go. Well, most of the time. I told that cow how to walk. <laughs> so that's why it's doing like Roll the tape back. Critter Fixers on Natchio Wild. Well... That was the National Geographic Trail. I mean, Marshall. Let's move on from veterinarians 
to one of the creators of the Black Panther comics, who was ta Nehesi. ta Nehesi was born on September 30th, 1975 in Baltimore, Massachusetts. ta Nehesi's mother was a teacher and his father, father was a public- Hold on, this should be Baltimore, Maryland. Mom's mistake. Okay. Okay. (laughs) His father was a publisher and librarian. Tana as his first name was an Egyptian appellation for an ancient African region of Nubia. His exposure to books as a youth prompted him to gravitate toward a literary career and he became writing poetry at the age of 17. Tana Hesse was a stay home at home dad or son. We'll learn more right now. How did Tana Hesse reach his goals? In 1993, he enrolled at Howard University, but he left without a degree. He started writing essays such as Conventions of a Black Mr. Mom, magazines such as Philadelphia Weekly, Mother Jones, The Village Voice, Entertainment Weekly, Time and Know, The Oprah Magazine hired him. His career blossomed in 2008 when he became a blogger for The Atlantic Magazine. Wow. Time to has a Mary Kenya Matthews. Together, they have one son. MacArthur Genius Awards win six six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, maybe in cash. How was Tan Hesse successful? He was the author of the best selling books, The Beautiful Struggle. We were eight years in power. The Water Dancer and Between the World and Me which won the National Book Award in 2015. His first novel, The Water Dancer, was released in September 2019. He won the MacArthur Genius Fellowship. Tana Hesse also enjoyed a successful run writing Marvel Black Panther comics from 2016 to 2021 and Captain America from 2017 to 2021. And for our activity for kids, you can be a journalist. Analyze the news trends. Google offers a method to check out the trendy searches, which are at this website, trends.google.com. Go to the trending searches and select your country to complete this assignment. Not really an assignment, but just for fun or use current new headlines from another source. You could print this paper right there. I did the analyze news trends. I did it on Halloween since, well, it's October and it's almost close to Halloween. You can learn more by looking at these websites and reading these books by Todd and Hesse Coates, even these graphic novels, but since there were no that many books about Jane Hinton that weren't really wrote by her, you can check out these websites still today. And on the next class on November and Saturday, the 27th, all day on YouTube, we will be doing Marianne Anderson and to blow your mind, we will be doing the one and only basketball king, millionaire, LeBron James. <laughs> See you next class. Email a question and contact us on a the third institute.org. See you next class, everyone. Bye. <laughs>